everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be our part two to our moving process. <laughs> I tried so hard. <laughs> I tried so hard. It's okay. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. So today is moving day number two. We have everything moved to the house already, but today is like unpacking and situating a few things. So we had our washer and dryer delivered. We just went to Target. I'll do a Target haul for you guys when we get home. And then we also just purchased some furniture off of Facebook Marketplace. So that's gonna be delivered to our house pretty soon. So we're heading to Costco now and then back home. And again, I'll show you guys everything that we got so far. But I'm starting this video a little bit late in the day. Actually, it's 1248, which isn't that late, but we've already gotten a lot done. So yeah, Jarvis is here too, in case you didn't know, in case you didn't hear him. <laughs> in case you didn't hear me blow Sneeze. Up over here. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, we are back at the house and here is a pile of stuff that we bought today. We bought all of this, this, and a few things over here. We also had some furniture delivered on Facebook Marketplace, so I will show you guys what we got. But first, I'm going to go through all of the stuff that we bought today. First thing we got from Costco was some, what is this called? Tin foil? Um, I don't know, we just don't have any tin foil. Then we got a couple of these TV wall mounts. So we have two TVs, one in the living room and one in the bedroom. So we got two of these so that we can mount the TVs on the wall and just kind of make things look a little bit nicer. We got toilet paper, some paper bowls, paper towels and some paper plates. Then I'm gonna go ahead and open up all these bags and go through them with you. So next I'll show you guys what we got from Home Depot. We got this dishwasher cleaner. We got a few pieces to install our washer and dryer that we just bought. So we had to buy a dryer cord, some water hoses and a dryer vent or tube whatever this is called dryer vent venting um so this is the stuff that we got from home depot and then we got a bunch of stuff from target so i'll just kind of go through this we got a broom and a dustpan i don't know where the broom is right now but here's the dustpan it's the same one that we had at our old apartment then we got a new duster which like extends and you can bend this different ways we got some dawn power wash that's the best dish soap ever we also bought a brita because the fridge here does not have filtered water so uh we bought a brita stream which is 10 cups so it's larger than a regular brita so we picked this up and then we also got some extra filters for it the filters last for two months so that's, it comes with one, so that's eight months worth of filters. We got some Visine, some Neosporin, some new toothbrushes. I really like these, these are Smartly. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like a Target brand. We also got some mouthwash. This one was so cute. I've seen this brand on TikTok, but this is Thera Breath Whitening Fresh Breath Oral Rinse, and it's in Dazzling Mint, and it's all like sparkly, so. Hopefully this is good. I have never tried it before. We also just got some temporary silverware because 
I don't I guess we got rid of our old silverware. I don't remember why, but we just got some plastic silverware temporarily until we get new silverware. We got some rings for the shower along with a shower curtain. Only one of the showers has a shower rod, the other one is a glass shower, so we only needed one of those. Then we got some cleaning supplies. So this is the Method Stainless Steel Cleaner and Polish, and it's the Apple Orchard scent. We used to have that at our apartment, but again, no longer have that. I got some Scent Booster. The Gain Moonlight Breeze is absolutely fantastic. I love this scent so much. It's amazing. We bought a Scrub Mommy, some bleach, some bleach spray, like a foaming spray. We got some... A uh, toilet bowl cleaner, a toilet bowl cleaner brush thing, and also a plunger because we don't have one. So, <laughs> just in case, I guess. Um, so that's everything that we got from Target, Home Depot, and Costco. Let me go show you the furniture set that we got from Facebook Marketplace. So uh, this is our bedroom, and we this is our old dresser, and we had nightstands, but we actually left them at Cameron and Alicia's house because... They look so good there, and um, Alicia said that if I was ever getting rid of them, that she would like them. So, we left them there, and we got some new nightstands. These are from the brand Thomasville, and it came with two nightstands. So, we have one here, one over here, and then it also came with a dresser, and it looks mm -hmm. so good. Like, this vibe is what we want, so... Yeah, this like this one's definitely like a little bit too like tall. Yeah. Um, and we got the hookup for it at Home Goods last time, but this is like the perfect level and then I'm gonna mount the TV to the wall so we can actually put stuff on it. Yep. I know and we're gonna we're, we're looking into a low profile bed frame so the bed won't be super high up off the ground which will be perfect for the height of the nightstands and the height of the dresser so we won't be like hurting our necks looking up at the ceiling because the TV is so high. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to mount it up too high just so we can like put stuff on top. Yeah so it looks really good and we're so excited about it. I think they did so good. There's a cardinal? <gasps> no way. Can I get it on camera? Oh is that? Oh. Oh wait. Is that a leaf? That's a leaf. Are you sure? Oh my god it is. It's like shaped in the shape of a bird. <laughs> Wow, this is beautiful. Well, but yeah, we have a bunch of woods behind us. So yep. Someone's gonna come walking out of there. Or oh, that's scary. <laughs> Bigfoot is gonna come crawling out yeah, of the the forward. woods. <laughs> um, whoops. But yeah, these are used dressers that they refinished um, and put new hardware on. But they're super nice, and we got a good deal from. Facebook Marketplace, so we're so excited. We're probably gonna sell this or do something with it. I'm not really too sure. Yeah, we're probably just gonna sell it. Yeah, we'll probably sell this on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> just like we bought this one. So yeah, just wanted to update you guys on our furniture. We haven't picked out a bed frame yet, but definitely thinking something like white or cream and something like low profile, just like nice and neutral. Yeah, so we gotta start working on the walls. I know there's a lot of like wall space in this house could do lots of shelves so. yeah we could do some cool shelves yeah there's tons of different possibilities and then we have this mirror that we'll put somewhere probably lean it up against that wall mm -hmm. so i can take some ootd pics or something i don't know <laughs> okay. so yeah that's pretty much the update that we have um we're still bringing stuff in most of the stuff is still in the garage but we're getting there. We bought a trash can today. This one, super expensive. I don't know why trash cans are so expensive. Don't know where we're gonna put that yet. And then I have to get this rug under here. So I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. guys so it's been a few days and I'm here to give you an update I filmed a lot of the unpacking at the beginning but then we kind of had to buckle down and get to work so 
We did a ton of work without filming, but I am picking the camera back up to give you guys an update. We're currently in our bedroom and we have a ton of boxes still, as you can see. We did get this new furniture, which I think I showed you guys. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys. Our bed is not made, so please ignore. Um, but we have our lamps up. I have a ton of boxes over here to go through. Um, we did mount our TV, which is exciting. So we mounted that above our dresser, which this is still empty. We haven't like organized our clothes or anything yet. So that's what all of these boxes are. Um, the bathroom is still a mess. I ordered some shower organizers uh, to like stick onto the wall. I hope they work well. I'm not sure if they will, but it, they had really good reviews. So I ordered those from Amazon so that we can organize our shower stuff. This is a complete mess, which I haven't even really attempted to organize. So that's going to be a whole project on its own. Then if I take you guys this way, we have the closet, which again, we have like some stuff in here, but it's not organized at all. We have our laundry basket. This is another dresser that we had in our closet at our apartment. So we have those and then we have more boxes and stuff back there. I feel like we made quite a bit of progress on the living room since the last time I talked to you guys. I'm, again, I'm, I can't really remember. Um, but we have like our living room set up going. I think I'm going to get a new carpet or rug in here because I just think this one looks a little bit too small. Like I feel like I want a big comfy carpet. So we're going to work on finding one of those. But this whole thing is set up. We mounted this TV as well. We need to get something to like hide the cords that hang down. Also the dishwasher is on so I'm sorry if that's loud. <laughs> Um, a ton of broken down boxes as you guys can see. We put this piece here. We're gonna hang the mirror above it just kind of like how we had at our apartment. I'm thinking a low plant over here and a high plant over here to be sort of symmetrical but also like sort of not. <laughs> then the kitchen is a complete mess as you guys can see. I've been washing everything that we had in storage, so like all of our like glass like Tupperware container type things and pots and pans, even though they were clean when we packed them, they were sitting in a storage unit for a couple months, so I've been doing lots of loads of dishwasher and hand washing, so the place is still a mess, the dining room is still a mess um i just have like all kinds of random stuff thrown on here some dishes that are drying and yeah here's kind of what things are looking like i know it looks crazy um i have my bookshelf that i'm gonna build which is actually gonna go in our bedroom and i'm gonna get another one and i don't know if three will fit but if three fit that would be fantastic but i don't think that three will fit unfortunately so Jarvis's office is in here, but he's in a meeting right now, so we're not going to go in there. Um, this is the guest bathroom. I got the shower liner hung, but I need to find our shower curtain. And then all of my candles and like extra soaps and things go in here. I have some of them down there already, but I have to organize these down there as well. And then... Here is what my room is looking like. Um, it's basically a mountain of boxes, but this room is gonna be set up a little, little bit differently than my previous filming rooms have. So over here, this is gonna be my filming background. So that's gonna be behind me when I film. I have my filming table here. And so this is like kind of oriented this way. And normally I would have had like background, filming table, computer. But this room is like a square and it doesn't really work well that way. So we've got the filming set up over here and then we have my computer set up over here. So um, you might be wondering where are your Alex 9 drawers going? Well, <laughs> two of them fit here and then the rest of them are in the closet. So this is a pretty big closet and the drawers do pull out all the way without hitting the closet doors or anything. So I have six Alex and I drawer units 
in the closet. Um, so this is kind of what we're working with right now. Um, ideally, I would be able to see these like in my room and have them look all nice and pretty, but this is what practically works. So this is how it's going to be for a while. Um, but yeah, everything is basically still in boxes. I haven't unpackaged anything from this room. Uh, yeah, there's even like boxes and stuff over there, but that's kind of an update on the house. So today my goals are to work on this. We actually don't have a ton of cabinet space, so we're having to like go through and try to narrow things down because we have this massive like countertop, but in reality, we actually have less cabinet space than we did at our, our apartment because cleaning supplies goes under the sink. We have this cabinet for like pots and pans and air fryer and stuff like that. Silverware utensils. Um, and then we have like cups and plates. And then this is like a spice cabinet basically. And then there's like a couple things that can go in here. But like we put our blender down here. But really, it's just like not a lot of cabinet space when you think about it. And we have a lot of stuff. So I think our glass storage containers are going to go in here. Oven mitts will go in here. And I'll move these lighters and things. Um, I already have the utensils in here. We have a few more utensils that we need to buy and that we have that just aren't in here yet. But I don't know. We're definitely a little bit short when it comes to space. So we will figure that out. I am back with another update so it's actually the next day again and um, I bought a few things so I figured I would do another haul within this video because we already did one um, as you guys can see we now have a sound bar um, we wanted to upgrade the quality of the audio from our TV and we saw this one at Costco and we tested it out last night and it sounds so good. We are very happy with it so far. We just got it. Here is the name of it. It came in this box from Costco. And yeah, so far seems really, really good. Here's a pile of some other stuff that I bought that I'm gonna show you guys really quick. And then I'll give you an update on my bookshelves. So we took a trip to Costco yesterday. Alicia and Jarvis and I were going to go to this concert. But it was really rainy out. And we didn't know if it was going to get canceled or not. And it was like 45 minutes away. And we just decided not to go. So instead we went shopping. Um, Alicia and I did. So we went to Costco. I picked this up. This is a like an immersion blender or a, a speed hand blender. I bought it for this attachment here. I saw one at Target from KitchenAid and it was $100 and I was gonna buy it on Amazon, but I called my mom because I knew she had one and she said she got hers from Costco and it was this brand and it was like 50 bucks. 
So I went to Costco and I found it and it was actually only $40, which made me so happy. So we need an immersion blender for the uh, enchilada soup that we make and we don't have one. So we were using Cameron and Alicia's, but now we have one and it also comes with a whisk attachment, this little measurer thing here. And this is like a chopper, I think. You can attach it to this somehow. I don't really know, but it has multiple speeds and I'm really excited that I found this for $40 and didn't spend a hundred on the KitchenAid one. Then I saw these, these are colanders. It's a set of three and there's three different sizes. They are all white with like a stainless steel handle and they were so nice and so cute and um, they stack inside of each other really well. So I figured these would be great to replace the ones that we have. So I bought these, these were like $15 I think, 15 to 17, I don't remember exactly, but I bought those. Then we have some stuff over here. I'll show you guys what's in the bags. It's nothing too crazy, but um, I bought some uh, fire extinguishers. These ones are good for grease fires and you can use them for cooking, uh, grilling, and camping. So we were not offered a fire extinguisher with this house, so <laughs> we bought two of those so we can keep one in the kitchen and I don't know, the other one somewhere else. I don't know if I need to necessarily, but we got two. Then I bought this pack of scissors and we only have like one good pair of scissors that I can find right now. So um, I bought this pack. I thought the colors were cute and they look like really nice scissors. So I bought those from Costco. And then finally, I got this from Costco and this is the Saint Germain. 12 piece porcelain dinnerware set. So we needed new like plates and bowls and stuff because we don't have a complete set. And the ones that we had were Jarvis's from like when he like went to college in 2015. So uh, we needed to replace them. And I saw this set, oh, they're all like wrapped up, but I'll show you the picture. I saw this set at Costco. It was like $23 and you get four plates and they have this little lip on them, which I love the style of plates like that. You get four of these like shallow, I don't know if they're called salad bowls, but just kind of like a shallow dinner bowl type thing. And then you get four of these smaller like actual bowls, kind of like a cereal bowl or something. So it's a 12 piece set and it was $23 and they're white porcelain and they feel really nice and they look really cute. So there's like a little, you know, set up. So that's everything that I got at Costco. Oh no, it's not. I also bought a shark vacuum, but I don't know where it is right now. So I think it's in the laundry room, but I did buy a shark vacuum. <laughs> Here's the shark vacuum that we bought. It's the Shark Navigator Lift Away. And we were looking at Walmart and Amazon and a bunch of different places for vacuums. And then we saw this one on the Costco website and I thought they didn't have it, but it was actually on an end cap when I was there shopping. So thank goodness um, we bought this. I think it was like $200, which is a lot of money, but vacuum cleaners are so expensive. So. We bought this one, hopefully it works good. It's for uh, like pet hair and long hair, which my hair always seems to get trapped in the vacuum, the one that we had before. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time. And, and we'll need it for the pet hair too. We'll need it for the pet hair, maybe eventually. <laughs> and uh, here's a, like, you can see it kind of detaches and you can use like it in a handheld way. So yeah, we're so excited about that. I bought a couple things from Burlington and I'll show you that right now. So from Burlington, I just got some oven mitts. These are pink ones. Um, it's like an oven mitt and like a little flat pot holder type thing. And these are from the brand KitchenAid. These were $9.99 and I liked the pink ones, but Jarvis liked the gray ones. These are also from KitchenAid. These were $14.99, but these are a little bit different. They're like the 
like squeezy mitts <laughs> so it comes with two of those and it comes with it looks like two dish towels so we got both of those because they kind of match but they also don't and they look good together and I still got to get the pink ones and then I got these clips from Burlington as well these are so freaking cute I love this pink one this was $4.99 for both of them these are really big claw clips and then from five below i randomly got this shirt it was five dollars and i just thought it was so cute um just as like you know a comfy t-shirt it says state of mind and it has this on it um it's just really cute and i thought it would be a fun just colorful t-shirt to have so i bought that as well so that's everything that I bought at Costco and Burlington. So let me show you guys an update on my bookshelves. And then I think that's going to be it for this unpacking vlog. And then I'll pick back up in the next video. I just don't want this one to be a million years long. So update on the bookshelves. I decided to go buy more bookshelves because, um, yeah, I was planning on buying another one of these large ones. But then I didn't know how two was going to look, so instead, my friend Kristen told me that they sell, like, skinnier ones, so I bought two of those. Luckily, my Ikea had them in stock, so here's what the bookshelves look like right now. These are just a few books that I had that were not packed up into boxes. <laughs> Most of my books are in these four boxes, plus this one down here. I don't know how <laughs> they're gonna look on here. I think I'm gonna have a bunch of extra space, which is perfectly fine. That's what we want so we can keep growing our library. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed. I will have the names of these bookshelves linked down below. Um, it's the Billy bookcase from Ikea. I have the shorter ones. They're 79 inches, but they also sell ones that are like 90 something inches tall, but our ceilings are eight foot ceilings, so I figured the shorter ones would work better anyway. Um, but yeah, they're relatively inexpensive for these specific ones. I think the large one was like $50, and these two skinny ones were like 40 ish each. So here's what it looks like. Jarvis built them for me and got all of the shelves lined up for me so this is gonna be a whole video in its own where i unpack all of my books and organize them onto my new library so i'm very excited about that but that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i will be picking the vlog up right again very soon to continue the unpacking and organizing process but for now, this is going to be it. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!